Alright, the last tutorial for today, the fifth one in my mini tutorial series, is uh, how to make parts of um, meshes invisible. For example, here I've got uh, this basket, but I don't want it to be a tall basket, I want it to be like a small one. Uh, so I'm gonna have to turn that basket part invisible. First I need to make the small basket. We pick up a misc item, let's go to preview window, which is the small one. This will work. Open the misc item, this is a movable one, you know, you can pick up. I just want the file path here. And then I want to add a new static. There we go. So that is now in place. And this we want to fit in here. So we open the scroll one and go to edit base. And here is the model edit. And now it lists all the textures. You can either swap textures here, like put landscape something on it, if you want to see it change the texture. Or you can use this to render parts invisible. I'm gonna guess this is the basket one. Double click. Null is the filter. Null texture set. There you go. See it turned invisible. Do note that there is still a collision, so if you do this for some items, you can't walk through it even though it is invisible. The collision will always be there. This is just purely visual. Okay, and here we go. And now we can plant these into the smaller basket. Like so. Uh, how about a wall? We want to make this, we have a nice window or we want to make a see-through window using the rift and tile set. Now this is a vanilla item, so you can't edit it directly, else you will end up changing everything in the person's game. So instead, when you edit base, give it a new name, that way it will be a new item instead of editing everything in the vanilla game. Again, edit and find the wall here. Don't go edit model file path, just this. I know the, the one is here at the bottom. Again use the null filter, double click and it's gone. It's not pretty but it's done and you can see the opportunities, the possibilities for, for this kind of thing. And now OK will create a new object. We don't want to edit a vanilla one. So now it's duplicated it and it's gone. Now you can add like a metal thing on it or uh, whatever you feel like if you want to make a see-through window like that like I said it's not perfect but for some things it's quite enough like for that basket there and believe it or not that's it go make awesome things in creation kit and I'll see you in the next video